So I'm going to get this cleaned down. Reason being is all these little bits we're using a white grout, and anytime you're using a light coloured grout, everything has to be spotless. Because as I pulled my floor over this, and I'm putting the grout in, if I don't take um, all of these little bits out and every little bit of dust, then it's going to become noticeable in the grout. So this will be done a couple of times. It's not just going to be once done because Terry wants this absolutely pristine. We all want this absolutely pristine, we've worked so hard on it. So, do this a couple of times over. I've not got knee pads on, same reason. Um, knee pads, they'll attract dirt to the bottom, and as I'm going around it, it's gonna put dirt back into the cracks and stuff, so for all of you that want me to wear knee pads, yes, we should sometimes, but this isn't one of those times I'm going to be. So, I'm gonna get on with this, get it all cleaned, do it again. Luckily, the adhesive that we used, the type of adhesive it is, it comes off really, really easy. And I've been fairly tidy with it for me as well, so I'm quite happy with how it's looking and how it's coming up.
So the end is in sight. We're finally at the last point here of, of getting the last of the tiles down on this base bit. Um, we're, we're not completely, completely done yet with all the cutting and, and chopping and stuff that we've got to do. We've got the trim, um, the edges to go right the way around, but we'll wait until this layer's down before we even think about measuring them, cutting them to size, because again, the, the floors in here like that, and we're gonna have to level it all off with the, with the adhesive and grout. We've done a really good job up there. The adhesive has done a superb job. It's looking really good. Um, I think once it's grouted, it'll really, it'll just completely transform in here. It'll be the, the space that we're wanting. But like I said, there's just a couple of little finishing jobs to do around the edges. We've still got to put the top layer on, on here as well. We've got a trim to go in, and um, obviously we're in a bathroom, so this needs to be a non-slip trim. So this will basically first tile will butt up to there, the tiles on the edge will go underneath, and it'll make it a, a safer environment in here. So all I'm going to do now is go and mix up the, the last of my grout, uh, sorry, the last of my adhesive, and get this lot down, and we should be ready for grout tomorrow. So that's me the last bit of adhesive used up for now. 
we are so close to all being done. I've got a bit left near the door and I've got the step left to do. Now, everything's cut, everything's ready, everything's prepped. As we've had the tiles, it's been nice and easy. It's just been waiting on tiles coming. So I want to get this done, get it out of the way because it's been the bin of my life now for the last month. Step's going to be tricky because we've got the gap in the floor and we've got to match between the two rooms. This was a complete rebuild in here, the floor. So the floor is nice and level in here. Um, but the floor on the other side of it isn't, so we've got a, a trim to go in there that'll tie them together so it, it doesn't look as obvious. Um, and then we've got the no slip tri trim to put around the step as well, um, so that when people are stepping up and down, they don't come over the edge of the step and, and slip. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. I just want to get it done now. I'm looking forward to getting it all grouted, getting rid of all these lines. And I think it's going to look amazing in here. So let's go and get this last batch done. Get it finished. Thank God. Last tile cut. <coughs> hey! Looks absolutely amazing. Thank God. Just need to stick these last ones down. But well done, Angel. Thank you. You've done fantastic. <laughs> you really have. I've seen them being a bit of help. <laughs> it's been difficult this one. It's yeah. probably the hardest thing I've done since I've been here. No, it just to be honest. It looks fantastic. All the lines line up. Really pleased with. Which hasn't been easy, has it? <laughs> no, Terry. <laughs> Especially over a step, round corners, and we've kept it all lined up. It's good. I'm happy. Yeah. It's down. What's down is stuck down. It's stuck down well. Yeah. So I'm happy now. So we just need to stick all of this trim right where we're on deer on now, and then ready for ground. Yeah, be ready for grout, that'll be it done. Yeah. And then we can get the uh, toilet in, sink in, bath in. Try bath in here. Be exciting. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Right, we'll get these stuck down. Come on then. Come on then.
So that's it. It's finally done. Um, this bathroom has genuinely, from being what should have been the simplest room to have got done, has been has probably took longer in in the grand scheme of things per square meter than any of the other rooms that we've done up here. And it's probably because it's been me doing it. That's probably why it took longer. It doesn't take longer with me, but that's just the way it is. It's all new skills learned, and it's looking good. And I'm really happy with how it's all tied in. Terry was very precise about how we wanted it. So the lines on the step, the way it passed down between each other, the alliance should all fall, and it does. We've managed to get it. it. Hasn't been easy, and there's been a few swear words. I've swore at the tiles a few times, and I've swore at the machine a few times as we've been cutting tiles. But it's good, and I'm glad we're here. So the next big job now is going to be getting the grout down, getting it all sealed off. We are sealing the grout as well, so it will stay white in between all the uses and people use it over time. Um, it's a one there we've got, it's got a 10 year guarantee with it, so we've bought a decent one so that we'll have nice white grout hopefully. We'll be using it in the shower as well. And, and that's us and we're really, we're, we're really excited now because this next couple of weeks we'll see all the 400s we've completely come together so we'll see all the furniture, the toilet, the sink and the bath going in here, we'll get to try the shower for the first time, make sure it's all waterproof so we are good and we're happy. So we hope you've enjoyed a, a lovely time off over Christmas and um, we've enjoyed a couple of days off. I know you can see us doing all this but we have actually took some time off as well. So thank you to everyone and thank you for all the wonderful Christmas wishes we've had from Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, from all the ways contact us. Thank you so much. So we're looking forward to New Year now and we're wishing you all a very festive one. So we'll see you soon. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure you've got the subscribe button clicked and make sure you've got the bell clicked for notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.